What's up guys, it's Garage Life here, and we're going to be showing you how to change your spark plugs in your Chevy HHR today. So the tools you're going to need are your 5 8 socket for your spark plugs. You're going to need your 10 millimeter socket to get the nuts out to access your spark plugs. You're going to need your 8 millimeter socket to get your air filter off to access it. You're going to need an extension, socket wrench, another socket wrench, and you're going to need a screwdriver. Alright, now let's crack the hood. Now the first thing you're going to need to do when you first pop open the hood is you're going to need to take off your air filter. So what you're going to need to do is come down here to this clamp at the air hose and you're going to need to get your 8 millimeter socket and just twist it with your fingers. And you sit at that clamp. That one right there. Yeah, All right, so I already pre loosened this. Now what you're gonna need to do is come down here to this clamp. And you're gonna need to. All right, you're gonna see how it twists. You're gonna need to just twist it until it unlocks it. You'll see. And you're gonna come back here to this hose. You're gonna need to undo this clamp. I already loosened it, so you just pull it off. Can you see it? Oh my All right. You just need to pull this hose off, and you're going to disconnect the sensor. That sensor. It's going to look like that. Then, you need to just pop that. And you just pull it off. Yep. Oh, good God. Oh. This, you just throw this to the side. Alright. Look at that Chevy big block. Now, what you're going to need to do before you do it. And you're going to need to clean out all this dirt so none of that dirt gets into the sock. Yep. So you're going to need to get your leaf blower or some sort and just <laughs> clean her out. Give her a quick burst. That should be good. Alright, she looks first. Alright, then you're going to need to come over here and grab your 10 millimeter and your wrench. Now what you're going to need to do is disconnect all these sensors, these connectors. I'm just undo them. As you see here, there's a little clip. Oh, yeah. Got to make sure you press that clip. Yup. Yeah. Alright, and what you got over them? You just get your 10 millimeter. Get them bolts out there. Yo, get them. Come on now. Oh, got that wrong level. Oh. Get that thing. Got you on there. Real nice and good. Get real nice, real smooth. Oh, you're going the damn wrong way. This some bitch is not what the bitch. There we go. There you go. Yeah, get them. Get all of them real nice. Real loose. <coughs> then you should be able to. Get them with your all right, so we're going to resume once we get all these nuts taken out. All right, coming back at you from Garage Life. So what you're going to need to do after you get those bolts out is grab your 5 8 socket, grab your wrench and your extension. You just need to come over here and pop these out. Ever so gently. Yeah, take your daggum time with it. Alright. And you just stick your stock in there. Take that lock. And just, yeah. Push them up.
Eco Tech. Don't that mean it's got a turbo? Twin turbo. Oh. No, that's how we roll up in here. Twin life. Look, there's that uh, turbo fluid. Oh, yeah. That Dock 3 turbo yeah. fluid. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so once you got your spark plug loosened and ready to pull out, normally it'll come out with the socket, but this one isn't wanting to. So you just want to grab some pliers and just grab the head of it. And just pull it out. Right. Once we get the rest of these pulled out, we'll cut you back on. All right, guys, so we got all the spark plugs out. So, what we're going to need to do is get, get your new spark plugs, and you're going to need to just grab your spark plug and see if you can gently get it in. Now, you're supposed to have a tube to hand tighten it with the tube but we ain't got that so we're just gonna manage and do it gently with the ratchet and once you get it going you can I'm just gonna out see how it's going it's looking pretty good Alright, now once you feel like that last tug right before it gets pretty hard to tighten, you're not gonna you're just gonna wanna go like a fourth. And it should be good. You don't wanna over tighten it, that'll mess it up. Alright, so do the same thing for the rest of them, and when we get back with that, uh I'll resume. Alright, so once you got all your spark plugs in. You're going to want to inspect the rubber on the housing. Just want to see if it's got any cracks in it. Alright, so they all look good. And there is no specific order for these when you put them in. So you just want to go, you just want to pop these back in there. Make sure that's good. So then, you're going to want to put all your bolts back in. Go ahead and finger tighten them as much as you can.
until we resume after we get all these back in. Alright, once you got all your bolts back in, you're going to want to go ahead and reconnect your sensors. All four of them. Yeah, I just want to push till it clicks. So once that's done, you want to go ahead and put your air filter back on. For that, you're just going to want to go ahead and find the rivets it goes on. And just push down on all this. There we go. Alright, so once you got all that back on. Once you got it in place, you just want to go ahead and put on. Alright, then you just want to put this hose back on. Make sure you got this hose back on. You're going to want to re-lock it like I showed you in the beginning. Uh, you want to go ahead and reattach your sensors. Then you're just going to want to tighten these clamps back up. And then you're done. Alright, so after you're done, you're going to want to start it up and listen for, like, see if your motor is vibrating. If it's vibrating really bad, then that means you did something wrong. Or if the motor's making a loud. So, Alright. So we're going to come over here. Keys. Alright, so, not making any noises, just inspecting it, make sure you got all these in. Alright, so, that's how you change your spark plugs and your Chevy HHR. Thanks, like and subscribe.